Uh, I uh, teach the Gifted and Talented program uh, in Venice Expo. Uh, I think that a lot of 21st century skills that people need, we're not giving them in public education. Um, just the fact that it's compulsory and you have to go for 16 years all day, every day. They're digital natives, so I mean, this is easy for them where, you know, people that are, you know, my parents would be struggling, but I think, you know, the younger generation is pretty easy. Um, so that was a big transition and it wasn't that hard, uh, but it's been hard to get a lot of participation. I'd say it's probably about a third of the students pretty consistently, a third to a fourth consistently want to participate and join in. Um, a third of them pop in now and then and a third of them I don't hear from hardly at all uh, but my position is a, a specialist or I you know I'm the additional teacher so I think those teachers have had about the same response about a third of them are involved heavily a third here and there and a third not at all um, and I think a lot of them are enjoying homeschooling I emailed a student a few times and she said she's super busy and she's loving it um, so it's just, she's living. I mean, she's, you know, cooking and cleaning, doing stuff around the house and she's not stressed and she didn't want to go back. She's like, I don't want to go back and have all the homework. So I think there'll be a lot of people homeschooling, unschooling, looking for alternatives after this. So it'll be, it'll be interesting. That's for sure. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, no, no, we have to have teachers in the classroom and we do, but it can be part-time. I mean, I've had a lot of students that say, Hey, why don't we go to school from, nine to one or nine to 12, even for elementary. And then it gives you a lot more time in the afternoon to pursue your own interests. So like if you want to be a soccer player and I had a student this year, his project was learning what it takes to be a professional soccer player. And he said, we figured out it was like 47,000 hours of practice like by the time he's 16 and we calculated and he was like, okay, that's like six hours a day, Monday through Friday. That's your full-time school. Uh, or if you finish school early or homeschooled or something, you could have your six hours of practice a day and then you could be a professional. But going to school, you're not going to be a professional soccer player unless you're an amazing, talented person. But the hard work you can't put in, uh, it, not realistically. I mean, it would be really hard to do full day of school and then go practice for six hours. It's just not practice. 